What is up my loyal subscribers, Mr. Specialist here with a 6 vs 6 Domination Black Ops 2 gameplay on a map called Aftermath. This gameplay also contains a live commentary by David Van Van der Haar and Hasbro. If you haven't seen the maps yet, watch my Black Ops 2 video about the maps by David Van Van der Haar. He's the designer of Black Ops 2. What is nice about Domination on Black Ops 2 is that the game has a first half and a second half. In the second half, spawns will flip and both teams will need to recap the flags. This will prevent one team of having an advantage because of the spawn in the beginning of the match. You will see all this in this video. My name is Mr. Specialist. Stay tuned and subscribe and like for more Black Ops 2 information. Also check out my other Black Ops 2 info videos in the description. Enjoy! So David looks like we're about to kick this one off again. Now we're playing Aftermath. It's a domination game mode again. And so why don't we talk a little bit about the map as we kick it off. You just call me David. Away, I called you David. I'm going to call you Mike. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lord Vonderhaar. <laughs> so Vaughn, oh boy, I had that coming. Vaughn, tell me a little bit about Aftermath. What's going on here? Yeah, so this is Aftermath. It takes place in 2025 in downtown Los Angeles right after a drone attack. And look at the beautiful destruction that you see in this map. Yeah, there's there's a lot that's uh, not right in Los Angeles right here in <laughs> Aftermath. So uh, as we see early on, looks like we're on board with Mini. She's of the uh, German ladies team, vivacious ladies, and she gets uh, shocked right there. A shock charge went off. Let's see what goes down right here, this B flag. Let's take a look at this mini map. Oh boy, look at this is chaos in the center here. Yeah, so uh, tell me a little bit about this B flag positioning here on Aftermath. Well, where else would you put the B flag but in the dead center of the map in the most crazy place you can, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, and we see a care package now coming in for the Europeans. That's going to get dropped off. Why don't we take a look and see who's going to grab that. We're on board with Mini, and she looks like she's making a move for it. Yes, she is, but her teammate comes in and swoops it up. So let's see here. Oh, oh there it is. there's the war machine. I was hoping this would come out. This is really one of those fun weapon-based score streaks that we have in Call of Duty Black Ops. Yeah, this thing is absolutely devastating. The war machine is a uh, pretty much just a ridiculous launcher. It's so powerful as we see Kitty Cat getting taken out, but she spawns back in and she has it again. She picked up a flurry of kills right there and she was clearing out that B flag. And let's take a look here. Uh, still a jockey for position moment for this flag. The score is absolutely tied, David. Look at, yeah, no one's actually picked up this B flag yet. It's been in the center of the map. It is a tough position. You'd like to see some smoke. You'd like to see some guys pushed up a little harder to keep these guys from taking this flag. And there you have it. There goes that war machine. Kitty Cat used up all the rounds in it, so it's gone. And she just wasn't able to keep the North Americans off the B flag as they take it now. So the North Americans in the lead, they are your FBI faction, as you see, designated by the flag on the left side, upper left side of your screen in the score panel. And the Mercs faction is the Europeans. They are there on this B flag now. Look at that now. capture progress bar. She this. might grab this flag. Yep, absolutely. Great teamwork right there by the Europeans to get that flag back. But Merc comes in and smokes a few. Let's take a look at the map. Oh, well, actually, it looks like the Europeans do have some pretty good map control now. We'll jump back on board with the Americans. We'll jump on board with Merc, who's making a move for that flag. He gets taken out, and now Merc spawns back in. And he's packing lightweight, cold-blooded, and extreme conditioning. And David, let's find something else to talk about here. Tell me a little bit about uh, what his class is using. Do you notice anything here? Yeah, this guy, you know, Merc is a very traditional player. I think he's got three perks out and using a Claymore and some shock charges. Now, those shock charges give you just enough time to put a target down. If you put them, we're seeing the European team actually throw them onto the B flag, confuse those guys so that they can jump in there. But Merc's got this shotgun out and he's got that laser sight so that he has some real superior hit fire accuracy right now. And look, seven seconds left to go. The Europeans actually have the lead on this one. We're playing round-based domination if you're just tuning in. So this is the first of two rounds, and the Europeans take round number one, 46 to 42. We are in halftime as we take a look at the round-ending kill cam. It's going to be Swanee right there, putting some nice shots. Looks like he had a burst burst mode right there. What weapon was that? That's the best weapon in the game. <laughs> no. Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> well, well, what was it? Tell me. Securing the best weapon in the game. Okay, we'll leave it at that. He's going to leave it up to you to figure it out out there in uh, internet land. So now we see we're in round number two here on 
this domination aftermath. Three minutes left in the round. The three minute round is what we're playing and it looks like the North Americans go immediately for that B flag and they do pick it up. So score carried over. 49-50 now to 48. Score carried over after round one and we flip spawns. Yeah, so now that we've got these flip spawns, we're gonna see where these teammates set up. They're not facing the same direction. The flank routes are not gonna be the same for them. So they're gonna relearn their positions and figure out what to do in this scenario to hold down both that A and B flag. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually gonna take the uh, perks, perk icons off now. And let's go ahead and take a look here on the team for the Europeans. We'll swap over to Gunchy, who was really hot earlier. Now Gunchy has the R870. That seems to be the most popular shotgun with these guys. What makes that their, their choice right now? What would you say? It does a lot of damage. It does do a lot of damage. This is really a classic style shotgun. The semi-auto, the pump. They can, just look at those shells on the side of the thing. The thing is absolutely beautiful. The Treyarch weapons team is some of the best in the world. You can see their work coming through right here. Yeah, absolutely. I'll scroll around. Let's take a look at some of the weapons here. So uh, we'll just go one by one. The MSMC here. Yeah. Submachine gun. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so there's all sorts of great submachine guns in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And this MSMC is one of the favorites that we have internally. I think fans are really going to react well to it. Yeah, and it looks like this is an LMG now coming out for Shane. And he's got a crazy sight on that. What's, what's that attached? He also has the laser sight. And he's just going ahead and hit firing. Look at that. Just mowed down Ray and T David. That was just like this LMG. He's mobile with it and hit firing. How did that work out right there? This is, he's got an LSAT. He's got it customized up with that laser sight, but also that dual band scope. Now he's got the assault shield coming out right now. So the, Shane has got all sorts of fun stuff going on in his classes. I'm really excited. The players are going to be able to use... Oh, look at that melee <laughs> attack from Shane with the assault shield. Yeah, and look at this. Somebody is not knowing what's going on. <laughs> it looked like it was Karma of Team Envious. 30 seconds left to go. Now, that was a... This, we're going to stay on board with Shane because this class is pretty epic. Uh, <laughs> this is one of the great things about Pick 10 and the wild cards. You're going to see some really unique combinations that are still competitive. Yeah, and, and he's, he did work with it. I mean, I have to say, I was pretty impressed. And it looks like the North Americans still have the lead here. They're up by eight kills, or eight points in domination aftermath. Ten seconds left to go. They are going to close this one out. I don't think there's enough time for the Europeans to come back, and that's going to be all she wrote. 97 points on the board now. We'll see how it finishes. Looks like 98 to 93, close game, but that's our final, David. That is the end of that match. That was a much closer game. Nothing is guaranteed. You've got to play strong the entire time. Absolutely. So the, Europe the Europeans down just a little bit in that game mode. As you see the final kill cam, it's Ray off Optic Gaming. And now they are pumped. Look at Optic. <laughs> Big Timer doing his chair dance one more time. Great game. Very good game. Thank you so much for joining. We're going to be back in just a second. We're going to talk to the